Hi guys, Josh here. Welcome to Frames for a second. Today we're shooting some Portra 400 in 120 on my Mi 605. So we'll load that up once we're inside. But yeah, it's a little nice and colorful. Lots of fun things. Let's go. Okay, so we shot Portra on the channel before, but it has been quite a while since I've shot Portra 400. And so here we are at Luna Park, just shooting some frames. And I have to say, these were the scans I had to edit the least out of most of my photos. There wasn't as much in regards to adjusting the color balance, so it was maybe just playing with the highlights and shadows a bit with exposure. But Luna Park's a fun, colorful place and I was able to get some fun shots that I liked. Unfortunately, the sky was a bit cloudy. I wasn't able to get much blue sky in the shots, which made the highlights basically just white, which I wish it wasn't the case, but that's how it was. And so that's what we got. Portrait's great, we all know it. It's got good color. And while it's not always as natural color, it does have that warmth, but I like that warmth. And I usually do adjust my scans to be a touch warmer than true to life color. Particularly with Portra, I've shot it in 120 the most as far as street photography goes. And I'm using a 55mm lens for most of this, especially this shot. This shot needed it to get that kind of wide shot. The 80mm, I would have had to go back quite a bit. And I do like the 55 quite a lot. It is my preferred lens, I just wish it was maybe a bit faster. I'm not sure what else I can say about Portra that hasn't already been said by the thousands of film YouTubers, but it's nice. There's a reason why it's become the gold standard for 120 color film, and that's because there's not many 400 speed options. I mean, with basically any ISO, in 120 there's not that many options so it's you've got portrait you've got pro 400 h and lomo 400 and that's basically all you've got as far as color 120 film goes fortunately there are quite a lot of black and white options it's a great reliable stock and there's a reason why it's one of the main stocks used these days and here we found a jellyfish and i do like this shot even though i wish if it wasn't overcast, I think the color would have been better. But yeah, it was a kind of off day. Like it was sunny in the morning, then it started raining, then it got sunny again. And then as you can see here, it's about to start raining again. And so that kind of did affect what I was expecting from my images. I do like this shot, but I do kind of wish I did have like a clear sky, bright sunny day to really show how nice portrait can be. And that's nature for you. We are going to experience a rainstorm. Rainstorm, yep. I'm gonna stick by that. And, um. <laughs> well, guys, so if you like the images, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to like and subscribe to this post notification so you know when there's a new episode. Anyway, I'm Josh. This is Frames Per Second. Just get out there and shoot some film.